Uh, you're all right. Um, I'm back um, for a quick DVD and Blu-ray update. This is uh, part one because there's some stuff that um, might come tomorrow, so I might do another video um, over the weekend. But um, right, the first film up is a horror film. Um, right, sorry about the glare. Yeah, I'm Madman. Um, this because I was reading about this and it sounds. Really interesting. Um, kind of, kind of sounds a little bit like it's got a little bit of the dark half to it. Um, basically, um, a murderous scalp, scalp a world of maniac um, comes alive in this book. I think it's uh, terrorising this woman. Um, yeah, that looks really good. That does. I got that film with a. Uh, Night Visitor. I picked this up and um, I'm Madman for um, 99p each, um, which is just um, um, sealed as well. Real bargain. Um, so as Elliot Gold and Richard Roundtree, um, kind of the horrific, horrific occult murders. Um, have to say, it, it does look pretty good. Looks like the sort of the believe in the vein of the believers and um, uh, maybe the first power films like that. Yeah, that looks really interesting. I'll have a look at that. Now, up next, uh, this is a um, Dutch film set during the closing stages of uh, World War II. Um, and uh, during the Nazi occupation of Holland. Uh, winter and wartime. This, this looks interesting as well. Here, this is very good. Yeah, that looks very interesting. Right, up um, next is another Blu ray. Um, this is a double feature of uh, El Mariachi and uh, Desperado. Um, Desperado is probably. Probably one of my favourite films of all time. I can watch it again and again. Not get bored. I, I, I just the, the violence is just brilliant. Um, I only wish the third film, um, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, was was good because it was a real that was shitty. But um, you know these two films are great, and like you know, this is a great you know this is a great um, set. Both films are great. Desperado particularly is just just amazing film. Couldn't get bored of it. Love the shootout, the shootout at the beginning. It's just amazing. Yeah, great films. Um, up next, um, I got this yesterday. I watched it last night, and I have to be honest, even though you can tell the budget is not as good as the first, you can tell they're working with a slightly limited budget. It's still amazing, and it's uh, Hatchet 2. Um, and Victor Crowley returns once again. Um, <laughs> This is a this is a really really good film. Um, I really really like the um, the backstory to this because the first film is the first film like a good like the opening kind of half hour, say like the Robert England bits that um, before they kind of get to Honey Island Swamp it's really shitty, but um, but this film you know it kind of like jumps straight in. There's some some of the deaths on the whole are not as good as the first Hatchet, but one particular death is just, um, I, I, I won't spoil it, um, but it, it's well, one death near the end of the film is just fucking amazing. Um, yeah, I like the little ode to um, Leslie Vernon as well um, during the film. Has a little one to Frozen as well, but I gotta be honest, I, I like the first half of Frozen, the second half was just shit. Didn't really enjoy it that much, but um, yeah, this film I was looking forward to it, and it, you know, it, it, it ticked all the boxes. The deaths are great, you know. Crowley's just an, an amazing kind of psychopath. Um, he's chainsawing this as well. I mean, that's, that doesn't really do justice to it. It's just, it's amazing when you see it. Just, um, yeah, just watch the film. It was great. I, I wasn't disappointed with that. Um, up next is um, did your book of a. Uh, all the presidents, men. Really, really great film. I try to show inside, so just working one hand here.
great film. Um, really good cast as well. Uh, Hoffman, Redford, um, Hal Holbrook as well. Massive fan of Hal Holbrook. Amazing actor. Real nice addition as well. Great film. Right, up next, um, I got this. Uh, this is edition from Germany. Um, it's a um, Blu ray media book of uh, Enter the Void by uh, Gaspar Noe. Um, Enter the Void uh, isn't a film, it's a trip. Yeah, well, good things. <laughs> In a sort of a in a sort of a mad way here it's a very very fucked up film looking forward to watching it I like a lot, I, I like most of Gaspar Noe's films um, Irreversible Standalone um, Carne he's you know a pretty fucked up individual but you know he's you know he's filled with talent looks an absolute fucking psychopath I may say but um, yeah. Yeah, really looking forward to watching this. Here, this is real fucked up. And uh, last for this update is um, this film. This DVD is out of print now, and it's real bit of a bastard to find. Um, it's to catch a killer. Uh, Brian Dennehy he plays um, John Wayne Gacy. Um, because I, I I was I, I've been trying to pick this film up for for ages, but the price of it is just if, if you go on Amazon you'll see you know it, it's not cheap. I managed to pick it up for a pretty decent price, um, still sealed as well, um, and it was a lot better deal than some of the prices I've seen on Amazon. Um, if, if if you've watched Gay see um, the film, um, hang on, I'll just pull it out quickly. That one, you know how shit it is. It, you know it's just like it, the way they portray Gacy in it as well as a kind of a guy who can just get just get slapped about by people and you know kind of no respect. And if you you know a little bit about it, you know he was a respected guy. You know I mean he won man of the year in his town for God's sake. But then he is a real fucking menace in this. The only thing I don't, I, I think the. I, th I think the choice of them having is it Margaret Kidder? Is that her name? Um, having her as um, the, the psychic in it. There's no one. Either. The film's too good to have a sort of a psychic woman in there. You know, like saying where all the bodies are hit. You know, it doesn't need that at all. Um, real good use of lighting as well with Dennehy in play. I mean, really, you, you'll know what I mean if you see the film. I really recommend the film, but you know, don't. You know, try not to be spending ludicrous prices on it because it's not. You know, the, you know, because I've seen people trying to sell it for over a hundred dollars. You know, and then that's not right, man. It's not you know worth that. But it's a really good film. Dennehy is really good, real menace in it. Um, yeah, it, it's a really good film. I'd really recommend that if you can pick it up for a decent price. And uh, that's the end of um, part one of the updates. I'll, I'll, I've got about another another four or five DVDs, another four Blu-rays, but I'm waiting on. Um, two of the Blu-rays should be here tomorrow so I'll do a video sometime over the weekend so uh, yeah cheers for watching and cheers for subbing